Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China sees 10,000 insurance registrations on July's second week. Abandoned Tesla roadsters removed from crates and headed to US. Tesla shows Cybertruck seats and testing process in new video. And, Tesla is rumored to partner with Samsung for 4 nanometer chip in self-driving hardware 5. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China is likely still focusing its resources on vehicle exports, considering that the third quarter is just starting, but it appears that the electric vehicle makers' domestic sales are not doing bad at all. For the week ending July 16, for example, industry watchers estimate that Tesla China saw 10,000 domestic sales. Tesla China does not post its weekly sales figures in the country, though the general trend of the company's domestic sales can be inferred through the number of new cars that were registered in the previous week. Insurance registrations are then watched closely in China, with even EV makers like Li Auto publishing weekly reports on insurance registrations in the country. With an estimated 10,000 domestic sales for the week ending July 16, Tesla China seems to be maintaining some pretty strong momentum, despite Giga Shanghai's focus on exports at this stage in the quarter. Considering that there were only 3,200 insurance registrations for the week ending July 9, Tesla China saw a 212.50% increase in domestic sales week over week. This also means that between July 1 and 16, Tesla China was able to sell around 13,000 vehicles domestically in China. This bodes well for the third quarter, especially since the demand for the Model 3 sedan is possibly seeing some headwinds today due to consumers' anticipation of the vehicle's Project Highland update. With this in mind, it would not be surprising if the majority of the 13,000 vehicles sold this Q3 so far in China were mostly Model Y crossovers. Tesla China continues to be a strong player in the electric vehicle makers' operations. On July 13, Tesla announced that Gigafactory Shanghai had produced its 1 millionth Model Y to date. This was a notable milestone, considering that Model Y production only started in January 2021. The facility's vehicle production ramp also faced headwinds, such as last year's COVID-related shutdowns. Moving to the next update, abandoned Tesla Roadsters removed from crates and headed to US. The three Tesla Roadsters that were found abandoned in shipping containers in China have been removed from their crates and are on their way to the US, where they will be transported to Gruber Motors for a technical review. For the past few months, we have been covering the developments regarding the three original Tesla Roadsters that were found in shipping containers. After being put up for auction in May, they were bid on by numerous people and have reached a peak bid of $2 million for all three units. However, the auction is now listed as indefinite, so bids are still being accepted. The vehicles were purchased years ago by an now defunct car company in China, which intended to use them for R&D purposes. The cars have sat in a container for a decade untouched, and Gruber was picked as the company to be held responsible for the auction. Recently, Gruber issued several updates regarding the fate of the roadsters, and it has been revealed they were removed from their respective shipping containers and sealed in new sea containers by customs. New pictures of the roadsters were taken, as the vehicles made their way to the new boxes, they would be placed in for transport to the US. Now, on July 18, Gruber issued a new update regarding the trio of Tesla Roadsters, stating, the three vehicles are en route and are expected to arrive in the United States on August 17. Moving to the next update, Tesla shows Cybertruck seats and testing process in new video. Tesla showed off Cybertruck seats and the rigorous testing process they go through before being approved for use in a new video that reveals the due diligence the automaker performs ahead of the pickup's imminent release. With the Cybertruck heading to production, as confirmed by the company last weekend, deliveries are nearing, without a doubt. However, some parts of the Cybertruck are being shown off to the public in typical Tesla fashion, 
which is through promotional videos the company releases on its many social media accounts. Recently, Tesla showed the testing process the Cybertruck seats are going through prior to their installation into vehicles. The automaker is using automation to perform this testing, as it has a seat testing robot that will perform 50,000 ingress and egress cycles on the Cybertruck thrones, translating to a simulation that is equivalent to a lifetime of use. Tesla has been manufacturing its own seats for its vehicles for years. The company operates a seat factory just a few steps away from the Fremont factory in Northern California, so it is no surprise that it chose to design and build the seats that would be used in the Cybertruck. Durability has been Tesla's focus with the Cybertruck, and while all of its vehicles are likely to go through the same rigorous testing processes with their seats, the all-electric pickup is certainly one vehicle that the automaker will want to cross its T's with. Tesla is bringing a lot of crazy claims to the table with the Cybertruck, including the idea that it can float across some bodies of water and that it will be capable of handling nearly any job that owners put in front of it. Perhaps the Cybertruck seats are going to need even more strength than the other models, as the pickup will be used for more utility than any other vehicle in Tesla's lineup. Long-lasting and durable materials are going to play a major factor in the first heavy-duty applications of the vehicle. Prices and configurations are still yet to be released by Tesla, but details could be released soon, as deliveries are expected to happen this quarter. Moving to the last update, Tesla is rumored to partner with Samsung for 4 nanometer chip in self-driving hardware 5. Tesla is rumored to have partnered with Samsung to produce a new self-driving chip based on a 4 nanometer node for Tesla's hardware 5. Back in 2016, Tesla started building a team of chip architects led by legendary chip designer Jim Keller to develop its own silicon. The goal was to design a super powerful and efficient chip to achieve self-driving in consumer vehicles without additional hardware, like in the custom-built autonomous vehicles operated by Waymo and Cruise. In 2019, Tesla finally unveiled the chip as part of its Hardware 3 self-driving computer. They claim a factor of 21 improvements in frame-per-second processing versus the previous generation Tesla Autopilot hardware, which was powered by NVIDIA hardware, while only barely increasing the power consumption. Last year, Tesla started to build cars with hardware for self-driving hardware, but the automaker didn't elaborate on its latest chip because not all cars are equipped with it yet. While Hardware 4 propagates to all its models, Tesla is already working on its next-generation hardware. The Korean Economic Daily reports that Tesla has partnered with Samsung to use their latest 4 nanometer node technology to build its next self-driving chip. Tesla has worked with Samsung on Hardware 3, and it has been rumored to work with the Korean chip manufacturer on Hardware 4. But it was also reported that Tesla has also secured a large order of its self-driving chip from Taiwan's TSMC. The new report doesn't make it clear if Tesla plans to now work with both Samsung and TSMC on its next-gen chip or just Samsung. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.